are currently walking down in what feels to be like an endless road in the Everglades. In the middle of nowhere, the middle of the Everglades, we're the only people out here for miles. We've already been walking for well over a mile. We got a ways to go. Why are we here? Well, because this used to be a rocket testing facility for the United States government. Actually, there's still a rocket underground down the road here. Plus, the whole thing was abandoned by the government and left here. We're gonna go see if we can get a good look at it for you. And we cordially invite you to come along for the adventure. Come along. So we were thinking about camping out right in here tonight, but we can't. Oh no. No camping. Oh. Oh, we we're gonna set up a tent and everything. That stinks, man. This road really feels like it goes on forever before you see anything. We've literally seen nothing yet. It's pretty crazy. And the sky's a little ominous, it's a little nerve wracking. We've already seen the snake. <laughs> we don't know what else is out here. And we're alone, creepy. Pretty interesting. This place, they actually left the electric wires up that were built just for this place. They also built a canal just for this place that goes all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. They even put a drawbridge over part of it specifically to move these rockets in from the Atlantic Ocean. race was on in the late 1950s to see who can get to the moon the fastest. And the U.S. was certainly a big part of that race. That's why this place came about. They actually hired a company called Aerojet, and Aerojet bought all this land. The U.S. government gave them $3 million. So they started testing rockets here. They decided to test only fuel-powered rockets, 100%. Unfortunately, later on, the government switched over to liquid-powered, so that's why they ended up closing this place down and just leaving it the way it was, even with one rocket a couple hundred feet in the ground which is still here now unfortunately you can't see much of it anymore because concrete has been covered over where it was but before they closed it down they did test three rockets here at this facility first two went off pretty well the third one not so much part of it fell off on takeoff it caused a lot of damage in the area hydrochloric acid was sprayed out over the everglades over people's houses it destroyed thousands of dollars worth of crops and farmlands and it also even messed up paint on people's vehicles in homestead florida It really feels like we've been walking for two hours. It does feel like that. Heather wanted to give up before we even started down here. I forced her into this. We finally see a building off in the distance. No Ooh. protection, just to throw in there. <laughs> Things flying around in our faces. We finally made it to the first building. It's pretty interesting. Take a closer look. It says Team No Sleep. We're a part of that team. Now what on earth is this?
Wow, check this out. Some people really do have quite the imagination. Ha! <laughs> hey, check it out. It looks like alfalfa. Wow, we! This place really does have some interesting finds. Oh, look, something I can read. Splash! Oh, this used to be some kind of an electrical something or other. Look at the rafters. Oh, my goodness. Let's get on out of here. As you can tell, it's pretty windy today. Oh, let's check out this cool looking building. I think it's even got a neat little rock entranceway. Gravel entranceway, I guess you'd call it. Oh, no roof. Hmm. Probably get pretty hot in here. Cool tree, though. Check out all the beautiful colors. Hey, I'll be right out. I gotta go to the bathroom. Okay, hurry up. I've gotta go too. Look at the roots on this tree. They are literally growing up and over the concrete. Crazy. And what is this electric wire for? I wonder. Oh, there's another one. Wow, this is pretty crazy looking. I wonder how long it took to paint this. Well, that was certainly pretty interesting. If you're ever looking for a place to come and hang out, this is the place. Totally happening. Wow, looks like someone got pretty mad and just started chucking the office drawers. Must have been a pretty hard last day at the office. So there you have it. If you ever want to come check this out and you have many hours to, <laughs> come on and do it. Yeah, you gotta do a little walking here to check out the old Aerojet facility, but it is pretty neat out here. Y'all be sure to hit the like button. Smash the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can come along with us on future adventures. Come along. And don't let your wife nag you in the head. <laughs>